Revenge Films. I came home to my parents' house after school the other day, but there was a car that I'd never seen before, parked in front of our driveway. In the past, our neighbor had asked to borrow the spot when her friend was coming over, but I'd never seen the car before, and we hadn't heard anything from our neighbor in advance. My mother was out visiting my sister, so I went around to my neighbor's house to ask, but no one knew about it. One neighbor told me, I saw it there before I left, so it's been there for at least five hours. I decided to ask a friend to tow it away for me because I had to park my car. To avoid trouble, I told a police officer that I trusted personally about it as well. There had been cases of people illegally leaving trash in the neighborhood recently, so the police and my friend responded quickly to tow the car away. The police officer told me to tell him as soon as the owner was found, but the owner of the car never arrived that day or the next. Do they not need their car? Maybe it was an illegal disposal, I thought to myself. Finally, in the evening on day three, when I was walking home from the grocery store with my mom, we saw a young looking mother in our driveway kicking my car. I immediately connected the dots, but I was shocked that she was kicking my car. What are you doing to my car? I asked. The mother had a furious look on her face. Where's my car? She started yelling. In my mind, I was annoyed. It's been three days after all, but I calmed myself down and asked her, is your car's license number REV1234? To which she replied, yeah, the white Tesla, as she got in my face. I had the police tow it away. What the hell? It was just there for a little while. How dare you touch my car? She started going crazy. She had one of those glow sticks like they use at concerts and started hitting my car with it. Apparently, she had been at some idol's concert nearby for two days straight. The glow stick snapped and the fluid got all over my car. While I was arguing with the lady, my mother called the tow truck driver and police, and they said that they would be there in about 20 minutes. While we were waiting, the lady's son peed his pants and they forced themselves into her house. While she was inside, she tried to steal a scroll that was decorated on her wall. I tried stopping her, but she was stronger than me. While I was struggling with her, a policeman finally arrived. Upon his arrival, the lady calmed down a bit. The officer told her that she was to pay the fees for the tow truck. This bitch was the one who did it! She argued back. The officer stepped in. You should have expected something like this for leaving the car in someone else's driveway. He told her, but she didn't seem convinced. She continued to shout and wail, so the officer called for backup. After a while, a bunch of police cars pulled up, and we were all surprised. We all sat there in shock as they arrested her. This seems kind of overboard for a parking violation, I thought to myself. But I was told that the lady had gotten into all kinds of trouble in a different city and had disappeared. Her parents also had a search warrant out for her. Apparently, her husband was nowhere to be found either, and the car was a stolen car. What a turn of events! What I thought was just a parking violation turned out to be a part of a bigger problem. The officer called backup once he realized who he was dealing with and was successfully able to arrest her. The lady was captured, but our car was still a mess. So we contacted a lawyer and held a discussion with the lady's parents and our lawyer. We thought that things would go smoothly from here on, but this was just the beginning of our next battle. At first, it was just the lady's mother. The father and their lawyer were to join us later. The father was picking up their lawyer before heading over, and while we were waiting on them, the mother said, My daughter is going to go to jail if you don't retract your report. Caring for her child is going to cost us money. And plus, you'll be working soon anyways, so you'll have enough money to repair your car in no time. I sat there in awe, listening to her mindless words. Let's be clear, your daughter has caused a lot of trouble in other places as well, right? And she doesn't seem sorry about any of it. There's no way I'm not filing that report. And the fact that I'll be making money soon has nothing to do with the damages done to the car. She argued back, but we were going in circles. Things changed when the father arrived. The father that arrived was my teacher from high school. As soon as he saw me, he went pale. It was just a few years ago that I was his student. You know, as soon as he realized it was me, he went straight into apology mode. I'm not sure if he had a different plan before the discussion, but it must have caught him off guard to see one of his former students there. After all, it would only take me telling a few people before the whole school found out about the incident. If that were to happen, he could kiss his job goodbye. 
He proposed to move out of the city and pay for the car, compensation, and legal fees. His wife didn't seem happy at all. You could tell that she had no choice but to agree because her husband insisted. To avoid any further conflict, I also had them sign a restraining order. Later, we met the lady who was accompanied by her mother because she insisted to apologize directly. But instead, when she showed up, she yelled at me. Why do I have to pay you compensation? She seemed angry about the decision. I thought you were here to apologize. For some reason, her mother jumped in as well, and they destroyed our front gate. So I didn't hesitate to call the police. The only reason I agreed to meet the lady was because she was arrested before she apologized, but instead she caused havoc again. So I filed another damage report. I didn't want to cause my high school teacher any more trouble, but the lady and the mother just crossed the line. I didn't hate my teacher, but they destroyed our gate. With all her priors, the lady was definitely going to do time, which is better than all the damage she would potentially do out in the real world. She doesn't listen, she damaged my car, and she caused many more people trouble, so I figured that it was what she deserved. I felt bad for her child, but I think my teacher would be a better guardian than the lady, and there were others to help raise him too, so hopefully he'll be okay. The lady was imprisoned, and the boy was adopted by a nice couple who were good friends of my high school teacher. I'm glad that he got away from that lady or her mother. They were both unreasonable people. And I'm glad that my teacher had some sense. At least someone was normal. I bet my teacher wasn't that excited to see me though. <laughs> How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.